Hello everybody, this is uh, Andre69. Uh, this tutorial will cover the Wacky Workbench 2 past uh, level wrap. Um, this is a recent new strat that was discovered by Zaxxon. So basically what you do is that uh, you work yourself to go to the pass as quickly as possible and then from there uh, you do the necessary movement to try and work yourself away around like the walls of the level um, Notably you're like above like around right here and then um, You give yourself like the proper position and speed so you can level wrap uh, This about like on the left boundary of this uh, level so let me cover what the necessary steps are to do the level rope. All right, so first thing you want to do is that you want your peel out to be fully charged and then you release. Uh, this is very important because if it's not fully charged, then it's possible that you won't go into this bumper and you'll be stopped instead. And then uh, if everything checks out, then yeah, you'll go into the bo the booster here. Uh, now you want to hold right and don't release right because you actually want to activate the speed cap here on purpose. Uh, what you want to do is that as soon as you speed cap, you want to hold left for a decent TED and then you switch to holding right like that. All right, so Important things to like mention here is that you want to be sure that you don't hold left too much, otherwise that happens. And then the next thing that can happen is like you can hold right for too long and hold left too little and you won't even touch the pass post. So just practice this for a little bit and then you'll get good at it. All right, so now what you want to do here is that you want to like be sure you're holding right for a good while. So you're falling down here. You bounce on this bumper floor and you hit that enemy uh, with the time travel sparkles. Uh, you attack it or you're able to go through it uh, just fine and it doesn't kill your speed. And then around like right here, after you're in the air for a good amount, you want to switch from holding right to left. And then if you do this right, uh, you'll be like around this spot where you're not really moving left or right anymore. Uh, you'll be aligned with the right edge of that platform that's above Sonic. And now you'll time travel. All right, so now you want to still aim for being aligned with the right edge of that platform above. Uh, it switched from a purple to a green color. Uh, you can barely see on the screen, but it's there. All right, so now uh, what you want to do is that you want to try and line yourself to be in between these two bumper floors. Uh, there's one on the left that's, that's a bit higher. And then the one to the right, the one that I'm about to bop on, that one's a bit lower. So you want to align yourself, having like kind of zero speed. Maybe align yourself a bit more to the left, just in case. Uh, you'll have to practice this a decent amount, and uh, you'll get it. All right, so now at this point, um, you want to do a moving peel out, like through this wall. Um... So apparently there's like a certain charge that you can do and then get like a certain like pausing like within like the wall. Uh, if you get that, then you're able to go through the wall rather quickly or uh, you're able to get to the next step pretty quickly. So I don't know if I'll get it here. Okay, apparently not. So... Um, I, what, what I'm trying to do here is that you want to go through this wall. You want to hold right for like 0.2 seconds or 0.21. All right, so that's 0.22. And then you're kind of like right here. 
uh you'll land up here the point two pausing is like when like the or that's like the earliest time when you're able to jump up from uh the piece of the ground you're standing on however if you're like around over here you're at, you're unfortunately a bit too close to where you want to do an mpo that's fully charged it has to be fully charged because otherwise it's not consistent so you'll notice how there's like a wall right here i like i can't go past it all right so uh, point two is like the earliest, but ideally uh, you want to like get uh, Okay, so it's like it's good if you pause like around here, so You might notice like the spaghetti looking like two platforms here. That's inside this like fence uh, Wall I guess or fence that Sonic is behind of that's where you can do the point two timing All right, so sometimes if you're a bit too far to the left before you switch holding right, this will happen, but um, you might notice how this rectangle is like over here. Like I'm rather close to it. So uh, if that's the case, then you can jump a, a bit this way. Uh, have some good momentum to the left and then jump. And then uh, when you're in midair and you're about to bop like the wall right here, that's where you want to tap, right? And uh, there you go. So let me, let me see if we can get this at least once. Okay, that's one frame too late. This is ideal. Um, so like I said, you could either just try and like do a jump to the left and tap right to face right. Although that's slower. So if you have to like readjust like this, like you don't quite get the timing or whatever, um, this might be like a bit too early still. Okay, well if you can pause really fast, you can do it, but try and be like around like right here or whatever. Uh, this is like the ideal spot that you want to jump on. So. Like I explained before, bop either the wall or you can do like a one frame right tap. And Sonic will face right, but he won't move to the right a single pixel. Uh, if this all checks out and you're right here, then you can do like an MPO. Make sure it's fully charged and then now you want to hold down right and then hold up. Alright, so... Um, you, you're gonna be wanting holding or you want to hold right for a certain duration of time um, You want to hold it for like about approximately around like 1.5 seconds. So like right now it's 18.46 uh, You want to try and pause like around like within the first few frames of where size starts to go left uh and you're holding up, you're not holding any direction, you're just holding up, which is like a rather unique thing about this level wrap. So yeah, 1.5 seconds. So you wanna uh, do the math and you see that's like a 19.96. So let me try and pause around that time. Or that's just like a reference. I'll tell you what you really need to look for in a bit. All right, so you might notice on the floor there, uh, there's like on the middle of the screen, uh, there, there's like some black, uh, rectangle that's like on the bottom of the screen, like close to the middle, but it's slightly to the left. Uh, that's like your, that's like your first visual cue to look at. Uh, once it's like on the middle of the screen or, uh, if it's a bit to the left, then that's fine. That's around, like, the earliest point for where you can do this next step. But ideally, you want to try and pause, like, around, like, right there. So, the second, um, visual cue that you're looking at is there's, like, this tallish green square structure that's on the right of the screen. It has like the four green poles that like differ in like the brightness of the green. So the left one has like the, the bright neon green and then the far right is like a pretty dark green. And uh, this square has about 
eight black squares with yellow lines in the inside of them like there's four in the middle and then there's four on the bottom so um once like the structure on the right kind of goes around off screen or close to it and then you're using like this uh this black rectangle visual cue as a another reference uh this is where you want to like uh switch from holding up to down and then you unpause all right so now when you do that uh side will start rolling and what this does if you release this down input within uh the first few frames of it initiating you actually won't like move at all like it'll just stay still like that so this really helps out a lot because otherwise it's kind of like a pain to try and like be close to this wall right here and not having to like be like thrown all the way over here and then you gotta jump like over here all right so just like the first time where you're kind of lining up facing to the right and doing the mpo you're doing the exact same thing here so let me try and go back you want those to be fully charged okay let me show that this part again i can't tell where i'm at but that's fine just do that if you need to all right make sure it's fully charged do that and then um okay now you can see that black square right there uh now you want to hold down and then it release down within the first few frames to go neutral there you go and then you could either do this or you could do this all right so I'll do it this way, and then you want to do a fully charged peel out again. Do a quick down right and up. Uh, notably, like this pause right here, you want to try and do it as fast as possible, but then this next on pause is like fine. It doesn't matter how long you take. And there you go. Alright, so ideally, a good time to get if you're going about doing everything safely i would say is like a 25 or a 26 second time and maybe even a 27 if things kind of go bad especially around like this part uh, i'll try doing that again just yeah it'd be nice if i can like get this kind of ideal spot and then there we go so yeah around right here that's where you want to jump do a one frame right tap this is like the fastest way but it's risky all right then okay that's not supposed to happen so only do it that way if you just want to be absolutely careful otherwise just kind of do it this way just do that and then full charge go all the way over here lands of that black rectangle goes on the screen like close to the center and then for that uh square on the right hand side to barely be on screen or off screen like right there that's good hold down release jump over here do that Quick unpause and repause. And there you go. All right, so the fastest time you can get possible is 24 seconds. Uh, pretty likely, I'll just have a video in the, in the description showing what that looks like. Um, but I just wanted to basically give a tutorial for probably like the most consistent way of doing it. So uh which if you do it that way that'll give you like 26 or 27 seconds but you can just expect yeah once again a 24 or a 25 if you go if you go about this like the absolute fastest way so uh yeah have fun doing this level wrap you don't need to do the bad awful normal wacky two route anymore just get good at this and you're pretty much golden uh you can get a pretty 
good time with this even if things don't go completely right compared to like getting a, f a pretty good and fast normal wacky too all right well thank you for watching and uh have a fun time learning this level rope